for diabetes. This is the di this is a diabetes epidemic. Fat's going up. Fat is going up, and the uh, diabetes is going up along with it. The more fat you eat, the more diabetes, blood sugar metabolism issues you're going to have. And the stats are there. America diabetes epidemic epidemic going rampant with that fat coagulating and paralyzing insulin receptor sites. Fat paralyzes insulin. Uh, so just eating some ginger now, start a day with some sugar. So this is the little gadget that sticks in your arm and that's that little bit of thread there that goes into your uh, goes into your into your skin. That's a hundred bucks man. Doesn't even weigh a gram, maybe one up yeah maybe eight point of a gram. You know? Hundred bucks man, as far as this diabetes is big fucking money. And these are meant to last two weeks, it lasted me maybe three days before it stopped working. Three days for a hundred bucks, it's like thirty bucks a day. That is big money for diabetes, man. You're making so much money. Don't change your diet, don't do exercise. No, 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 no. Just nothing you can do about it. And obviously a type one, you got that for life, but even my type one friends who follow my advice, insane results, insane results, lowest ever insulin units, high sugar diet. Just sugar, 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 not even avert fats, you know, just so they get that maximum insulin sensitivity. And riding a bike as well gives you incredible insulin sensitivity. So diabetes, 100%, you know, type two diabetes, 100% curable, type one, 100%, uh, beneficial, you can get benefits by changing your diet and lifestyle. But it's too, there's too much money involved, man. So this is never ever going to be. I mean, this stuff's going to be mainstream. But you know, high carb vegan diet, cycling, for transport, etc. That's never going to be mainstream because there's not enough money in it. And so the forces that be will make sure that stuff is suppressed. You know, they they get trials on the internet now that they're saying the fake accounts. I had so many. It's quite weird. Just started on these diabetes videos. All these little fake accounts pop up and I click on the channel and there'd be nothing, no videos, nothing there and then it just recently been created and I was like, hmm, this is interesting stuff. And this is very interesting. So if you're an influence on social media, social media's new TV, you know, what sort of attention do you bring upon yourself when you call out Big Pharma or, you know, certain industries? Who knows, but it's, it's quite interesting stuff. Your type two diabetes reversible. I've seen that with my blood sugars, uh, type one. It's good to you definitely just based on my friends who've been type one for like 10, 20, 30 years, the, the reports they give me, you know, their personal reports, it's uh, quite profound what the human body can do. And it makes me think, it makes me think like, I'm sitting here in my hotel room here in Thailand, Bangkok, and you hear all this traffic going past motorbikes, and in the world, people are using cars and motorbikes more and more, we're burning more oil and fat, we're eating more oil and carbohydrate now. And diabetes, man, it must be, oh man. I should probably get stocks in diabetes. I mean, it wouldn't be ethical, but there must be so much money, especially for like China and India, when they're getting all these cars and motorbikes and cream and meat and steak and extra oil. I mean, oil wasn't an addition to diets until recently. It's maybe the first hundred, you know, the last hundred years of revolution industry, or whatever you call it, just for the refining of the oil. Sugar's been around forever, but oil's quite been quite rare. But now with cooking it and frying stuff, just that rich, high fatty calorie stuff. Diabetes, man, man. I can, if most people, probably I can ninety nine percent of the population, Western population, or people eating Western diet, would test positive for diabetes, blood sugar wise, consistently. If you tested their sugars for like a few weeks, you definitely come up. Or if you just look at the symptoms, lethargy. One of the symptoms of diabetes is lethargy, man. People just like. Uh, again, most people, man, they coffee to coffee to coffee. You know, I haven't had a cup of coffee since 1999. I've had a few cups of tea in the last 15 years. I've done caffeine gels here and there in races and stuff, but it's not part of my daily, it's not part of my weekly, it's not part of my monthly routine taking stimulants. And these people, you know, in society, they're not, they're just going from coffee to coffee just to, like, hour to hour, not riding their bikes or doing crazy training or something. They're just like, just getting through the day, just, coffee and then like an Adderall and then like a Ritalin and then at night time maybe some alcohol to wind down or something like that. And it just, man, it's just diabetes. It's almost like everyone's got diabetes out there who's not, not doing something healthy and active. It's, it's fucking sad and it's crazy, but it's not open. So, you know, measure your blood sugars or measure your blood sugars of your family and, and ask them, you know, if anyone says there's something about sugar, say, well, here's my blood sugars. Like, show me yours, you know, show me yours. and. So you'd be probably surprised how many fucking diabetics you've got in your family who don't even know the diabetic. So lethargy, man. Lethargy. Diabetes.